Hi friends, welcome to the Bella Classroom. So today we will read this lesson. Lesson number 26, Water in the Well. So let us read. What a farmer need most for his field is a good source of water. Kazim had his eye on his well, on a well that was just outside the boundary of his field. But Ahmed, the man who owned the well, was a crafty old man. He wouldn't allow anyone to draw water from his well. He told Kazim, why do you come to me again and again to beg for assistance? <clears throat> to my well, I feel sorry to turn down your request every time. I have a suggestion for you. Collect some money and buy the whole well for, from me. Kazim thought over the suggestion and killed it. He knew that Ahmed would ask for a lot of money but he saw in his mind's eye channels of water running from the well through his field and made a decision. He took all, all the, his savings to Ahmed and bought the well. The next day he went to well happily and dug out a channel but when he began to draw water there was a surprise in store for him. Suddenly, Ahmed came forward and announced, What are you doing, Kasim? How dare you touch the water in my presence? What do you mean? Haven't you sold this well to me? Ah, I sold the well, alright, but not the water in the well. The water still belongs to me. You can't use it if you need it. The water along with the well, you should have said so. I have a suggestion for you. Pay for the water separately and use it. You can buy fresh water every day and I don't mind. Kasim was shocked to hear Ahmed's argument. It was so unfair, so unjust. He rushed to the Kazi and told him the whole story. The Kazi was a wise man. He told Kasim to bring Ahmed to his court so that he could hear both sides of the case. Ahmed was summoned to the court. The Kazi heard his argument patiently. Hmm, I see that you are right. What you have sold is the well. The water is all yours, isn't that so? Kazim heard sang. When he heard the Kazi words, Ahmed in his heart to of hearts was overjoyed. He had never thought the Kazi would side with him. My lord, I am grateful you understand the fine points of this case. This water does indeed belong to me. In that case, Ahmed, why are you keeping it in Kazim's well? You have no right to keep your belongings in his property. You must remove them immediately or else you can pay a daily rent to Kazim. Then he will allow you to use his well. Ahmed was so confused that he did not know what to say. All the people present in the court began to laugh. But Kazim was a generous man. He never travelled him to the rent that was due from him. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. If any mistake is there, please write. Please don't write in comment because my comment is off. So, I will send you a email ID in description. Please check out that and please send out send at that. Thank you.